dear students welcome to the session number 6 where we are going to discuss six rules of good writing required for email etiquette when we talk about essential rules of uh, good writing in the last lecture we had mentioned that we can follow abc approach at the same time it is equally important for us to know some of the fundamental rules of good writing so there are certain rules which you need to remember when writing any business documents not just emails which include rule number 1 that is avoid redundant phrases a lot of messages are filled with long wing jargon which has no place in modern business language so for your example here if in case you look at the first sentence on your screen you'll be able to read out the wrong example which has a lot of redundancy includes a sentence like please be informed that management meeting will be held on monday 12 july 2010 the same sentence could be reduced to a minimum number of words giving away the num- the same information and it would be better for us to put it to use as a management meeting will be held on monday 12 july 2010 while we are looking at uh, these redundancies being reduced from the sentences we could also have certain other expressions that could be thrown into the trash bin for example i would like to advise you that i would like to bring to your attention that i would like to take this opportunity to da- to do whatever you would want to mention i would like to inform you that thank you for your kind attention thanking you in anticipation While we move further, let's look at this rule number two, which refers to create kissable messages. When we refer to kiss rule, it refers to keep it short and simple. Kiss means simplify your words and phrases as the examples given in the table. For example, instead of using the word utilize, you could use the word use. Instead of purchase, use buy. Instead of visualize, use the word see. Instead of assist, use help. Instead of sufficient, use enough. instead of success in making use make in view of the fact could be replaced with as since conduct an inv- investigation could be reduced to investigate we would like to ask you could be written as please by keeping it short and simple could also mean avoiding unnecessary words and expressions there are many frequently used words that add nothing to the message these words could easily be removed without changing the meaning here are certain examples for you wherein the words and phrases could be cut out of your writing for example absolutely in other words actually in the end all things being equal in the final analysis as a matter of fact in this connection at the end of the day in view of the fact that at this moment in time i would like to take this opportunity basically last but not least currently each and every one in due course the fact of the matter is obviously to all intents and purposes these are common phrases which uh, you could uh, easily avoid the rule number 3 here is use modern terminology today's business language should be as natural as possible as if you were having a conversation here are some of the examples of old fashioned business jargon that has been updated to a more natural conversational style for example instead of uh, referring to a sentence like referring to your message of 23rd may just write thanks for your message of 23rd may attached here with please fine just leave all of that and say attached is or i attach i am attaching here is so and so file please advise me you could refer to it as please let me know please favor us with a prompt reply you can write in a better format in a better language i look forward to your prompt reply should you require any further clarifications please do not hesitate to contact me could be written as please give me a call if you have any questions rule number 4 includes touch up your tone When speaking to someone face to face it's easier to alter your tone of voice to convey your message in different ways much of what you say is also interpreted through your non verbal cues eye contact gestures voice intonation while this is not possible with the written word so 
good business writers learn to choose their words very carefully it is so important to get the tone right because using the words using the wrong tone could actually cause real offense to your reader and could lose you an important business contact or a friend so tone can help you to make a message sound firm or friendly persuasive or conciliatory helpful or condescending according to the impression you wish to convey to your reader some of the irritating expressions that you should avoid in your writing include your neglect it is not a fault you should know your refusal to cooperate you fail to we cannot be expected to you cannot expect we must insist when writing business analysis there are certain factors that you should adopt um in order to have an appropriate tone that reflects them all so what should your checkpoint be there that your status is reflected properly your status of the recipient is reflected your relationship with the recipient the content of the message all of these are things that will help you choose an appropriate tone for your mail now there are certain other examples here that uh, you know we would we should have a look at for example uh, if you look at the first statement which says we cannot do anything about your problem try calling an electrician it's actually too abrupt so we could rephrase it and reframe it as i'm sorry that we cannot help with this i believe an electrician would be better able to help with this type of work the next example your interview will be held on wednesday 28th august at 14 hours it sounds too bossy and unfeeling so the correct way to put it could be and more polite way to put it could be i hope you can attend an interview on wednesday 28th august at 2 pm very courteous the next example your computer's guarantee has expired so you will have to pay for it to be repaired too blunt the correct way could be the guarantee for your computer has expired so unfortunately there'll be a charge for this the next example a phone bills are enormously high please stop making so many personal calls which is too emotive and sharp it could be rephrased as the company's telephone bills have increased considerably please help by avoiding non urgent personal calls now let's move to rule number 5 which includes considering your reader empathy is very important quality to remember in all business dealing students this is particularly so when you are sending an email message when reading through your email before sending it you must make sure that you empathize with your reader you can imagine how they will feel as they read your message and while doing so you have to ask these following questions as mentioned on the screen as well please uh, pay attention and look at them the first one includes will the reader find your message clear and well written have you written confidentially and positively confidently and uh, positively have you obtained the right balance between formality and informality while retaining courtesy will they be confused annoyed or feel that you have wasted their time does your email convey a good impression is the language appropriate or over their head could anything be considered insensitive or distasteful now the next rule and the sixth rule includes if you wouldn't say it don't write it the golden rule of writing today is to write as you would speak ask yourself how would you say something if you were to face you were to have face to face conversation with the correspondent take a look at look at some of the examples and expressions that uh, we are often using in the written communication but if we reconsider how is it that we can improve those into and put them into a more conversational style the first example here towards the left as you see is we have received your email we could shorten it and put it as thanks for your message the next one the above mentioned seminar will be held on 15 july saturday right way to put it would be this seminar will be held on saturday 15 july the below mentioned goods will be dispatched to you next week these goods will be sent to you next tuesday the list of series for which we need replacement are as below mentioned here is the list of series that we need you to replace please do not hesitate to contact the below mentioned staff if you have any further questions 
could be reduced to please give me a call if you have any questions please punish me with this information soonest could be better put up as i hope you can let me have this information soon as uh, we move further let's also look at how is it possible that we compose clear messages so while you have to uh, compose clear messages there is a rule here which says your message has to be compact the first point uh, where you know einstein once said that everything should be as simple as possible but no simpler keep your message brief and concise with short sentences and it should be written in a conversational style this will be making it easier for you to write and for your readers to read and understand the next point in clear uh, formula includes logic remember that all good messages begin with an opening and then continue the main details and lead naturally to an action statement the next point is that you it should be empathetic respect your readers identify with them appreciate their feelings in this way you will ensure that your message is written in words they'll understand and in an appropriate tone the next is action based when we mention action based uh, messages it actually explains exactly what you want your readers to do or how you wish them to respond then they are more likely to do so the last significant point uh, is that it has to be right make sure your message is correct in terms of grammar spelling and punctuation and that it includes all essential facts and details while all these rules and regulations that we have discussed in the previous lectures and in this one it will be best possible for you to remember that you learn the difference between modern business language and old fashioned jargon you come straight to the point in the message while retaining courtesy and clarity you have to remember the rule of kiss principle you must remember the abc accuracy brevity and clarity that will save your time avoid confusion create a good impression and enhance relationship you must write if you are having a conversation with the recipient using everyday language that you would use as if you were speaking make sure your email message is clear compact logical empathetic action based and right and if an email exchange is getting rather long and complicated it may be more effective to pick up the tolly telephone on this note here i hope that you will be preparing several uh, emails and which will be better structured from the next time thank you